Hey guys, so I think I'm gonna call this like a rooted rant. I think I'll, I'm gonna just call it that because that's exactly what it was about to be. Um, I was yesterday years old when I found out who made Big Mac and Cheese. Now, as a black American woman or African American woman, I don't really care. Um, you know, like Big Mac is like such an important part of the culture. Excuse all that background noise. I have a one year old and he never cares when I'm doing these things. Um, but like, it's a part of culture, you know, like you, everyone has their family recipe that they think is the Holy Grail and it's passed down and passed down and passed down. Uh, like my mom taught me her recipe and you know, like I take pride in making it for my own family. So Big Mac and cheese it's deep in our hearts, it's deep in our souls. Like I said, excuse him. Um, but I found out that there was a chef, a black chef named James Hemings. So, of course, if you know anything about history, the Hemings name is not new. Like Betty Hemings, uh, the whole Hemings tie, Sally Hemings, you know, the how they like to paint her the mistress of Thomas Jefferson. When really she was an enslaved woman that he was using for sex and had multiple children by that he was, you know, keeping enslaved his own kids. So, Chef James Hemings. Uh, was born to Betty Hemings that was his mother she was biracial and when he was eight he was inherited uh, to Thomas Jefferson so when Thomas Jefferson went to France he opted to take James with him and this black man I'm call him a beautiful black man learned to speak French fluently and he also became a chef like he was he was trained in French cuisine and then when Tom Shepherdson was done over there, he brought him back over here and paid him to be uh, a chef. But also that money turned into him being able to pay for his own freedom. Okay, cool. What I did not know and what I think certain people need to stop saying is that Thomas Jefferson made baked mac and cheese. Now, shade, but no shade, but totally shade. Clearly a black person made baked mac and cheese. I just, I don't, I'm like, I'm not saying certain people are innovative, but what I am saying is if you see who's killing the baked mac and cheese game now, who do you think made that up? But apparently Chef James Hemings, he created baked mac and cheese and then Thomas Jefferson in true form, <laughs> in true white man form, took the recipe. And now if you go Googling Thomas Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson baked mac, You'll see all types of people saying how they're making him proud with their recipe and how Thomas Jefferson would be so impressed by their mac and cheese recipe. We got to restore history. I mean, like, I know that some people it's just a side dish, but again, in black culture, it's more than a side dish. You know, we argue over this. We do videos over this. We compete over this. It's, 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 it's home in your mouth. It's. It's knowing how to cook. It's proving you know how to cook during holidays when you are called upon to make it. And uh, we gotta stop attributing to the wrong person. So baked mac and cheese was not made by Thomas Jefferson. He stole the recipe from Chef James Hemings. God bless his soul. Okay. All right, rant over.